Earlier this week, a YouTuber named Do It With Dan stopped by the shop and he took our Ford Super Duty. He said, hey, I'm heading to Las Vegas, I'm heading to the SEMA show, I want to take this truck and in exchange I'm going to leave you guys with my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Well, we've decided we're going to do a few upgrades to it while it's here. In my hands I've got the Morimoto XB LED fog lights. We're going to be installing these because they've got a sweet blacked out look. They're going to match the truck perfectly and they're going to match the other upgrades we're doing to it while it's here. So, let's get started. Now depending on what trim level Jeep you got from the factory, you may have a different looking bumper than this one. For example, if you got a Rubicon with or without a steel winch bumper, you might have a totally different setup altogether. But what I'm about to show you should be really similar across the board. Ultimately what you're going to have is a plastic bracket on the back here that's held on by three screws. They're T20 Torx, there's one on the outside closest to me, and there's two on the inside. Go ahead and remove those first. At this point you can unplug your factory fog light and remove the fog light bracket. Now that we've got our fog light out of the vehicle, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to swap the factory fog light with the Morimoto XB fog light. Here's our bracket. There are three black plastic clips holding the fog light to the bracket itself. And if you take a 10 millimeter socket like this one, you can actually press in on these, get the clips to release and push the fog light forward. It's a really sweet trick. You don't have to use a pliers or anything like that push in on it just like this. As you'll see, that fog light just pushed forward, remove the socket. Do the same for each of these. That is so much better than fighting with a pair of pliers to get those to release. Now we do need each of these black plastic clips. Go ahead and remove them. We will reinstall them on our Morimoto fog light. And this bottom one here is the adjuster. You're going to need to turn this counterclockwise all the way and remove it. We're also going to need to get this plastic piece here that it threads into out of the factory fog light. You can just push it through with your finger. Now we can finally set this one off to the side. Grab your Morimoto XB LED fog light and we're going to just reverse those steps that we just followed. Go ahead and install your adjuster plastic here. You can thread the adjuster in. Now, your fog lights are going to be way out of adjustment when you get them installed on the vehicle again. That's okay. They're really easy to adjust. You should really point them against a wall and get them lined up perfectly. Clip these back on. And now, you can install the fog light to the bracket. It's going to click in just like the factory one came out. And that's it. We can go reinstall this in our Jeep. With your new fog lights mounted to your factory brackets, you can go ahead and reinstall them in your Jeep now. It's super simple. I love that Jeep kept this part of the, of the new Gladiator as easy as they did. You can do this in your driveway with basic hand tools. You can connect your new wire harness now, and if there's any slack, you can zip tie it up, keep it out of the way. Now, let's flip this Jeep around, let's point it at the wall, and let's see how much better these are compared to stock. Now I think Dan's going to be very happy with the fog lights on this Jeep. They turned out awesome, they're significantly brighter in stock, and they look super clean. Now we got to do something with the headlights on this thing. Stay tuned for that, click the subscribe button, we got a few different headlight options coming out, and I'd love for you to see them. Thanks for watching.